How's it going, everybody? It's your friend, your buddy, your pal, the Classy Crane here with, uh... My first episode in a little while. Okay, let's let's be perfectly honest. If you stumbled across this video, you probably have no idea who I am. That's fine. Let's talk about life. I'm gonna chop a lot of this up. Life throws you curveballs. And uh, that's exactly the reason why I haven't been around for a little while as far as with videos. I just had some stuff happen as in uh, work related. You have hopes, dreams, aspirations, and you have obligations. I am a 27 year old who's married and I hope to one day have a family, kids. Recently, I ended up quitting my job. It wasn't something that I could do anymore. It was kind of a hard decision. I had to make up the fact that it was winter time, money, savings, family, I did have obligations. Christmas was coming, you know, there, there's just a lot of stuff that I had to do first and foremost. And this being something on the side, I was not able to continually put up videos. Heck, I wasn't even able to really play games. It, it's not like I'm doing a pity party or anything. I'm actually happy where I'm at now. Now I work as a landscaper. On a day-to-day -day basis, I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing. I could be snow plowing. Uh, it all depends on the weather. As soon as I quit my job, I had to kind of go into a secluded state. I had to make sure that I took care of me. I had to make sure, make sure that I took care of my family. That's one of the most important things to me. I believe it should be to everybody. And I mean, my wife has a job too, so it's not like it's that big of a deal, but you know, I didn't want to make her have to support me 100%. As soon as I got my other job, it was, okay, let's save money. Let's make sure I have a little bit of savings lined up. Let's make sure that we're able to continue and go forward and have Christmas and buy gifts for the family because I have a rather large family. I continue to make sure that I was able to get good videos and good content. I don't know if you can tell, but I have new lighting. I increased my video quality. I increased my microphone quality. I made sure that everything that I was doing was with the end game goal of being able to do this and have fun because that's what I want to do. Like I said, it's it's more about, for me, creating fun, entertaining content and being able to make some people's day. I guess let's start at the beginning. Why do I do this? My entire reasoning for doing YouTube videos, like I said, was just to be a normal guy, have fun, have an excuse to play games. I just wanted to make sure that I could create fun, entertaining content. There's a lot of people, a lot of people that I have watched for a very, very long time. Inspirations, complete, total inspirations of, hey, I do this for a living and I have fun and I entertain people. That's what I wanted to do. For years now, years, and I'm not even exaggerating on that, I wanted to create YouTube videos. I wanted to be a creator. And maybe it's the fact that my previous job had something to do with computers, but I, I, I love what these people do and I just wanted to do it myself. I'm not, claiming that I'm going to be the best one in the world at it. Heck, like I said, it's just kind of a fun thing to have on the side. But, you know, when life throws you curveballs, you gotta kind of reassess and make sure you take care of yourself. What I was doing is, you know, hey, let's just uh, take a step back and realize what's important. I have to take care of my family. I didn't want to give up on the hopes that I had. Where am I, where am I going with this? Life will throw you in multi multiple directions. but. In the end, everything always works out. That's the one thing that I've learned. When I left my previous company, afterwards, I started working almost immediately at my new job. Even though I had a job right away, that still didn't mean that I was comfortable with where I was financially and you know job-wise because I was doing landscaping and it was going right into winter. Thankfully, I live in a state where you can kind of expect some snow to happen, but you know, you could not have anything at all and then I could just be totally kind of screwed. So I ended up getting a, another job on top of that for when I wasn't dealing with the snow. You know, I had bills to pay. My wife and I had a cat and the cat got very sick. I had some medical bills with that that I had to make sure got paid off by a certain time. And we were able to make it all happen. You know, I just kept plugging away one day at a time. And that's the real way I found to make it and stay ahead in life is use every every moment that you have to get ahead constantly work at getting three steps ahead because something will happen one day and you'll be two steps behind yes everything is fantastic I just bought a house I'm doing all this fun stuff oh no my refrigerator broke there's your three steps ahead two steps behind 
you are working every day, you have that money sitting in an account, you can repair the refrigerator, you can you know, get a new washer and dryer, you can do whatever you need to do, you can afford to pay the bills for pets or whatever might end up happening. The way I look at it now is that no matter what happens, it's just money, you're gonna make more. Being able to say that is probably one of the easiest ways to make it through the day. You shouldn't ever live to work you should work to live. Make sure that first and foremost, you take a step back, you evaluate. Are you happy? And if you're not happy, make a change. I wasn't happy, I needed to make a change, I needed to get ahead, and that's what I did, I got a new job. It was scary for a little while, but I had to work every possible moment that I had to make sure that I could stay ahead. You still, I, was still, I still wasn't safe, I still wasn't comfortable, I still wasn't secure, but if you work at it long enough, you'll be able to realize that everything's gonna be okay. It always works out in the end. What's honestly the worst thing that could happen? You declare, you declare bankruptcy or you end up moving in with your parents and staying there for a little while. No matter what happens, they're not gonna eat you. You're not going to end up having some catastrophic thing that you can't come back from. You can always push through. It's gonna work out in the end, it really will. As long as you're doing your hardest and you're doing your damnedest and I'm a prime, example of that right now. So all of that being said, what did I do? Where am I at now? What are my goals? What do I want to continue with? I've said it before, you know, I'm doing this for fun. I work a lot and I end up not having much free time, but recording these videos, getting them out to you, it makes me feel like I can do something and make some other people happy. My entire reason for doing this in the first place is just to have fun. I still do want to record videos. I'm going to try to go to my original goal and get three videos a week. Um, at the very least, I can get two videos, but if I have a good week and everything's going well and I'm able to pump these things out, I'll have uh, more than that out for you. What kind of videos and content am I gonna put out? If you've ever seen any of my original videos, still getting the hang of this. This is, I think, like video number six, maybe 10 even, I don't know. It's it's not like I'm a professional at this, and I, <laughs> I'm, like I said, I didn't script this to start with, so I'm going to be cutting a lot of this up, and I'm not exactly sure how it's all gonna turn out. But I wanna put out videos that you guys wanna see. I wanna put out content, for things you guys want to know about. I will gladly share my life and have fun doing it, uh, live streaming even, Twitch, uh, YouTube Live, all those different things, but I need your guys' help. I want you guys to let me know what you want to see. I don't expect to get big and do a lot of stuff. Me being sincere, I, uh, I just want to do this for fun and as an excuse. I'm a normal guy and I'm gonna play games and that's it. When I come home and I'm unwinding at the end of the day, I barely have time to play video games, but as I'm laying in bed, one of the things I like to do is sit and watch YouTube videos. I have a lot of creators that I like to watch, and I'd like to be one of those things that you guys might be able to use to, you know, get through tough times. So let me know down in the comments what you guys have done, what you've used to make it through your hard moments in life, and let me know, like I said, what you guys want to see me, see me do on this channel, because that's what it's all about, is you guys. I promise I'm gonna to try to put as many videos up as I possibly can and I promise that I'm going to do what I can to make it entertaining and again I apologize I'm still new at this I got the lighting I got the mic set up I got the computer I got the graphics I got everything there to try to make good quality videos for you but suggestions are still helpful I'm just kind of starting this all over again. I gotta start from square one because I feel like I was gone for too long, but I promise you I am back now and I'm gonna do whatever I can. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Um, please make sure that, like I said, if you have anything that you wanna throw down in the comments, go ahead. I will make sure that I get back to you guys. I'll get a notification right away and respond. Uh, throw a like on this video if you did like it. It's gonna help me out way more than you guys know. But until next time, guys, there's one thing and you know what it is, stay classy.